So, here we are. We've just taken you around Auschwitz 1. This is Auschwitz Birkenau, the death camp. The other one was made up of barracks from the uh, from the Polish army. This one was built by Himmler. And it's deadly quiet. This is where the cattle trucks arrived carrying the Jewish men, women and children. They were unloaded here and then segregated, men on one side, women and children on the other. Most of them went directly to the gas chambers. These primitive brick buildings house nearly 200 people each, sleeping 10 and 12 to a bunk and heated by one solitary coal-fired stove. The primitive communal toilet block still has German writing on the wall. The communal wash house still has an original painting on the wall.
The gas chambers were blown up by the retreating Germans prior to the camp being liberated. Large pits were dug by the Germans and the ashes and remains from the gas chambers and the crematorium were just dumped into them. taking you around the toilet blocks, the shower blocks, we've shown you the monument and we've also shown you the collapsed gas chambers. It's a very very airy feeling you get when you're walking around. There's people deep in thought, there's groups of Jewish people playing Jewish music all over. I think that everybody needs to come to be quite honest. It's living history, but it's history that's not too old. 60 odd years, it's nothing, nothing. I think that I've finally realized exactly that a race of human beings could, ex could murder people in the millions. Two million people estimated to have been killed here, whether it's by gas and then incineration or whether it's just gas and buried. We're just going now to the shower box. We've been here now probably a couple of hours and we've seen nothing. The place is absolutely massive. This is the shower block. Notice the holes in the roof where the gas pellets were poured through. After the people were dead, their bodies were taken and burnt in the gas chambers.
These are personal photographs of people who perished in the gas chambers. Well here we are, now this part is called the Judah Landing. Why? Because you're in the building of Auschwitz-Birkenau which is just over here to my right. When the people were transported in the cattle trucks, because the railway line wasn't into Auschwitz-Birkenau at this particular time, the carriages came here and the people were unloaded.